Welcome back, my beauty squad. If you're new, it's your girl Jessica. And welcome to my channel. Yeah. Sorry, Jessica Moment. We have another collab. This is our Try Tuesdays series with none other than my Jessica's and my unfiltered fifties, which is Jeannie. These two awesome ladies right here. So we are coming at you with a three J's. Jessica, Jessica, and Jeannie. Yay. And I would be on honor to be working aside along of these beautiful ladies. I have learned so much from them. They inspire me daily. They work their tail off for their channel and I cannot wait to see how much more they grow because they deserve every each every one of y'all that are there following them and subscribe to them. And if you are coming from their channel, thank you so much. I would love it if you would subscribe and hit that bell. That way you get notified for any video upload because your girl uploads often. Like you would think I didn't have an outside life, but I really do. I have nine kids, a husband, and a mother here that I take care of, but I still find time to film every day. I might not upload every day, but I film every day. Yay. Don't ask me what this is. I kind of got carried away. You'll see a long in video. I started drawing on my face because I don't know how to do a wing liner. And I didn't like how my wing liner was coming out. So I was trying to do a line up there and then I put stars up there and then it just looked crazy. So then I put stars all over my face. And then, of course, the star deserves a moon, so I'll put a moon. And, yeah, I got a little carried away. But it's different. It's okay. It's makeup. It all washes off at the end of the day. That's not why we're here. We're not here to talk about this mess up right here. We are here to talk about none other than the infamous Nikita Dragon and Dragon Beauty's products. Yes, I said it. Yes, yes, I said it. You girl did it. I've got the Dragon Beauty setting powder this little baby i've got both of the dragon beauty eyeshadows the setting spray and the liner the only thing i do not have from this collection i do not have her glosses that she just come out with but she, but that's okay that's okay i got the main things to try out and you'll be shocked on what some of these price tags are and what they claim to do and what they really do now, I did say at the end of this video, if you watch all the way till, I do have a recap. This is a couple hours in the future from my video. I want to come at y'all and let y'all know, just an FYI, I've had this on for at least five to six hours, even. And the setting powder is still in the wind. The eyeshadow is still in the wind. We still, we still doing good here, y'all. So, I'm, I'm kind of a little shook with it. But it's y'all see. Let me quit rumbling. Y'all see over the video. I love y'all. I hope y'all stay around. This is a premiere, so make sure you give me a thumbs up inside, and I'll see you in the chat. Hey, my beauty squad. So yeah, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is a another try your Tuesday collab with my girl Jess. And JD, so we're coming at you with the three J's. I always so kind of trouble when it's three J's involved, right? So I have already uh primed, put foundation, prep, prime, and foundation, uh, concealed and contoured because I have a try it Tuesday coming at y'all. Try it out this bread. Do y'all see this little black brow box? Are y'all intrigued? We have none other than Dragon Beauty to try out for y'all. Now, mind you, this I, this is not my first rodeo with Dragon Beauty. I have used their eyeshadow. That's the only thing I've used from this brand. Always late, but worth the wait. Love this cup. I have tried their eyeshadow. I really did like the eyeshadow. Even me liking the eyeshadow, I still think it's still a little pricey. And I'll show you the eyeshadow that I've tried. Because I just stuffed everything in here. So, I was intrigued because I know a lot of people are iffy about the Kika Dragon. 
I don't discriminate. I give props to props too. I'm proud of where she come from and where she's at now. But this is the palette that I already have. I have did a look with this. I will leave a card up somewhere in this video when we're doing this look. Now, this is volume one. So this was volume two. Mine, y'all, is 30 bucks for one. So it's $30, $30, $60 for both. That's pricey for 10 shades. Just saying. But it is good quality. Well, what I got out of the first palette. Yeah, I mean, volume two palette. This is the package. So sticky cute. Says who is the baddest of them all. Look, there y'all are. There's my way to poo. Look, that's my way to poo. Um, these shades are beautiful. I might incorporate volume two in this. If not, I'll be just volume one palette. I don't know yet. We'll see where this goes. What I am most in true to try are these three other products that I have in here. So I have the Dragon Beauty Dragon Wing Liquid Liner and the shade Blackout. I think this was 18 bucks. I want to say 18 dollars. So that's typical what a nice eyeliner runs. Not too bad, right? Very pretty. Typical eyeliner. What I do like about this, look how little that point is like and she nice now i did watch this when i first got this box and it took me a while to get this liner off so hopefully that's a good liner right then we have the dragon beauty forever fantasy setting spray what i read on this was that it was it's supposed to smell like her so it does have a scent so if you like scented setting sprays you might like this if you do not like fragrance in your setting sprays you will not like this that's the mystery it's a little strong but it's a nice one very cute packaging this is hard plastic you get 0.90 milliliters 3 point fluid ounces you do smell the perfume in it it's not too overbearing and it doesn't smell like alcohol it just smells like perfume Look at the cap. I don't know if you can see the detail, but it looks like an egg. There you go. That hits the light just right. And then you got the Jack of Beauty logo, which is cute. Ain't she cute? Now this, sorry, Bobby Cop. This is the one that I'm kind of like, what the F? Are you kidding me? This retails for like 23 bucks, I want to say. I want to say. She spent some too. Look at this. This was a $30 setting powder. $30. You get around the same amount. I looked and searched through all of my setting powders. The average setting powder is anywhere from 20 to 20. From 20 from from 20 to 29 grams. This is a this is 10 grams. This is 10.5 grams. This is hourglass, mind you. This is a very bougie, very nice setting powder. This I don't know. This retails for $46 at Sephora, but you know what you're getting with Hourglass, right? So, Hourglass is bougie. Hourglass is, al is allowed to have that bougie price tag because it is very good. This is one of my favorite powders. So, this is what I'm going to be referencing this powder off of. Because for that size of that price tag, you need to be Hourglass quality. This is Laura Mercier. This is one of my second, well, probably like second... It's up there in my top fives, okay? Just so let's say that. It's in my top fives. You get 29 grams for $39. And this is a very good powder. So you get a lot more for $9. So you better be better than Laura Mercier. Maybe not quite as good as Hourglass if you want to be. But you better carry a punch with us. Because I'm coming at you hardcore. I am throwing all whole bars back. I'm going to let y'all know if I really, honestly, truly think this powder is worth the $30 tag on it. Because you get half of the product. And I'm just like, what? Because mind y'all, my favorite, favorite setting powder for right now is the Huda Beauty. You get 20 gigs for 30 Like, same price and double the product. So, you better be good. You, you better be good. You trying to squeeze me with that. Just saying. So, 
let's go ahead and lay this down and then I'm gonna go off camera and come back with everything done. Okay, I just shifted it around just a little bit. This is what the powder looks like. I did get translucent. They had banana, translucent, and um, pink. I like. I'm gonna use what I always use for my setting powders. My little puff. She doesn't really look translucent. She looks more like a banana color, but we're about to see. With powder. The powder without powder and y'all i am not even trying to waste a little of this powder because she's expensive with powder without powder she better blur about five years off of my my wrinkles she better not crease let me go ahead and set my eye with this while we're here because I know me chit chatting it'll make me crease a little bit okay so she blurred a little bit like a little see this without with I do have texture right here you can't really tell texture with it So, is she nice? I would really have to... Do my full face. To give you my final results. Because I don't want to tell y'all something. And they'd be like, nah. Oh no, Jessica. I'm already spilling some and shit. Like, no! Alright, so I'm done. First impressions, she cute. Not gonna lie. But is she? Is she $30 cute for half the product? I will be right back. She did blur a lot. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, she blur a lot. Y'all, I might have a game changer right here. Make sure y'all stay. Because it'll always be a microsecond for y'all. For me, bye. Okay, I'm back. I have my base on. My brows done. My lips done. And all we're going to do is our eye makeup. Now, I do have my Marc Jacobs bronzer that I absolutely love and adore. Like, yes. Come through. Um... And then for my cheeks, I have the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush. I use three out of six of them. Yeah, I know. I'm just that type. If you hear my girl Jeannie in the background, sorry, not sorry. I'm running her right now on my computer. But I went in with this one, this one, and this one for all three of these. And I think it came out really pretty. It kind of gave it that little slight little glow back to my skin because i have to say guys like this powder is modifying it works good it doesn't get into the creases but the question of it is like is it still that that much better to pay 30 dollars for half of the product than you can get in a huda laura mercier all of those let's go ahead and jump into this palette like i like her I, I'm not going to lie. I like it. Like, you can't really see my texture like you can in some of my setting powders. And I use the Pat McGrath Illuminator Highlighter. This, my beautiful bestie. This body sent me. So this is this palette right here. Sorry if you hear my kids in the background. Luna left my door open. I'm going to go in with this purple. Ooh. There's a lot of kick up. But y'all, with kick up, it has a lot to do with the brush and like the distances. The, the, the way the brushes, 
the bristles are on the brush. Let's say that. So if you get a lot of kick up on a pan, just know that it might not just be the palette. It could be also the brush. That's pretty. This this purple is very pigmented, and y'all know purples are pretty hard to make. I uh, hear tell that that's like one of the hardest shades to make. But yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all can hear Jeannie. My unfiltered 50. My beautiful, beautiful friend. I'm just throwing that all over the lid. Well, all over the eye. I can't really say lid. I got a little bit down there, which I didn't mean to, and I always do it. Don't care for that brush too much. I'm gonna find a different brush. All right, let's try this brush. See how much pigment's on her? And see with this, still has some kick up, but not as bad. But I don't, kick up doesn't bother me. I know some really care, but even with kick up and all the palettes that I have, it would be really hard for me to hit pan just because I don't gravitate to one palette that often, unless it's something that I really absolutely adore. Now, um, my Nikita Dragon times Morphe, I love that palette. So I do grab, grab it quite a bit. And the blending brush. I'm going to go in with this one right here just to kind of airbrush that purple out. See? You have to see that? Kick up. I barely touched the pan because I don't want that to take the purple color away. I just want something that helps blend it without giving it too much more pigment. That's really pretty. Now, I'm going to go in with Rude Girl and just kind of pop that on the outside. And it's that shimmer, dark shimmer shade. And I'm going to keep that right in the crease. And when you're using... Oh, when I use shimmer shades for the outside, we use a, like a packer brush. We'll brush it all pack on like you do with your lid. And that's kind of what I want. I don't want it too, like, up in there, but I want enough to give us a little bit of shimmer, a little bit more depth to the look. Now, I'm going to go in with Popstar. I'm just going to Keep it on this brush. I did not. Ooh, yes. Come through, pop star. I did not spray my brush. I did not cut my crease. I'm just laying it on there so y'all can see the quality of the shade. You know, barely touched the brow bone with that same shade. Just to give it a little shiver, uplift shiver. Sorry, it's uh, an ad running on Jenny's video, and I don't skip ads for anyone I watch. Ooh, that is a pretty shade. Like, I have to say, though, these palettes have some unique colors. Because I don't have a shimmer like this. I don't think. Could be wrong. And that's what I like about these. Because even though they are pricey. You get unique shades. And that's kind of all it is. Because even if you get a bigger palette. Okay. Say for instance you get a 20 pound palette for 30 bucks. If you get 15 shades that are multiple ones you already have then it's kind of pointless to get that palette 
But if you get a couple of shades that are unique that you don't have in your collection, you know, you're building up your collection, that's kind of a win win. So that's how I look at it. Now, I want to go in with my other palette and use that blue for underneath. I think that blue will make this look a lot better than just purple. Oh, she pigmented. Yeah, that that helped make this look. If you ever, ever, ever want to help one of your creators, that to the max, you want to help that person, let her videos run, let them ads run all the way through, because if you are monetized, the ads are what help give us money. That's like that's how we get paid off YouTube is through the ads. Now, my honest, honest, honest opinion, if you was to get anything out of this collection, I would grab up these palettes. The, the pretty. Like, I don't have a blue, green blue like that in anything of mine, and I know for a fact. The powder is good. Don't get me wrong. The powder is very good. It is very good quality. Very good quality. It is good quality. But... But, and then here's the but. I really honestly think that there's a couple brands out here already that you can get that same quality with and get a little bit more product for the price tag. I don't, I, I'm not at the all, oh boy. Like, you know, like, and it blew me away. It shook me there for a second because my skin looks flawless. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. It looks really airbrushed, really airbrushed. And that's what you want from a powder is to make your skin look, you know, flawless, of course. So it's doing what it's supposed to do and really good at it. But I don't see why it has to be so damn much for such a little pen. Now the setting powder, the setting spray. I don't like the mister. F fragrance AF. So if you like fragrance, you will love this mister. Very perfumey. Like it's not really alcoholic, it's perfumey. Just to establish that. Like it, it doesn't really smell like alcohol. It smells like a crap load of perfume in your face. So just fair warning before you go out and grab this and you'll be like, well, Jessica said. It was a good spray. Yes, it's a good spray, but it is very perfumey. So, just fair warning for y'all that does not like perfume in your face. Because it will smack you in the face and leave you tasteless. Like, that kind of boom. The sprayer itself is it's pretty rough. It is. It's a lot. But it's still, I mean, it's, it's a setting spray. You know, you can't expect too much out of a setting spray other than a setting spray. The mister is decent. Not the best mister I've had. Not the worst. I know I'm rambling on and I'm sorry. I am honestly, truly sorry to be rambling, but this brand did kind of throw me for a loop. I was not expecting that price tag. Like, I didn't even read the size of the setting powder because it's easy. That's where I mess up at because whenever you're dealing with a new brand or you're dealing with a new product and you don't know what to expect from that. Make sure you're looking into everything. Y'all, do not come at me because I do not know how to do a liner. Please. We're just seeing if it's beginner friendly because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to a liner. Let me rephrase that. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to a wig. 
but I'm determined to practice this year. I've got to get out of my comfort zone. And the only way to do that is to practice. A her tail, if you lay the ladder down, you can kind of get it better. Okay, so that's not too bad. Like I said, don't, please don't come at me, because I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I have no idea how the hell these girls like, shoot, shoot, and done. I did get a jail. Ladder to practice with, too. Because everybody is different. Everybody learns different. Oh, and these are not even like siblings. My lotters are not even cousins, guys. Like, oh no. They might live in the same neighborhood. Same country. Maybe. Maybe. Like, really? Wash your face. But I like it. I like the the lighter itself. Look how light that goes. And then so like if you was to go in, lay down or like it's a nice lighter. And I know how some people are just like drawing lines on their face and stuff, so This is a good detail honor. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I have no idea. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like going up and then doing it like that. I want to learn that. That is not that. This is, I don't know what Jessica's doing. Jessica's lost her mind. That's what she's doing. Let's see something. Why I got y'all here and y'all laughing at me in my premiere, let's just go ahead and do that thing. There we go. I made it look like a reason to have it on there, right? <laughs> Don't ask. Won't tell. <laughs> but, she cute. Oh no, this is just to review. Not make fun of Jessica's not knowing how to do eyeliner. Right. So, in all in all, what do y'all think? Like, I'm curious for y'all's opinion. Do y'all think Nikita Dragon put a price tag a little too? I up there just because of her name. Just because she felt like that she could and you know who supports her are gonna support her and they're gonna buy it anyways. Or do you think that, you know, for what you see, is it worth it? Like, is it worth it? Is it worth the price tag?
Like, do you see a justified reason to buy? A justified reason to buy this setting powder other than the name? I just, just, I'm just, I'm curious on what y'all thoughts are. Because I know y'all here to see what my thoughts are. But I'm also very curious to see what y'all thoughts are. Because, I mean, granted, I really do like the powder. I really do like how it blurs out everything. It did what it said it's to do. It's supposed to blur everything out. It's supposed to look really snatched. And it's doing that. Like, and y'all, by y'all, I went in with a glow primer and a glow hydrating tinted moisturizer so like i was really shiny really shiny and that was the purpose of me doing both of those to see how bad of this powder would do and it did its job like it really did its job i will do a wear test and i will let y'all know at the end of this video i will pop back in or at least let y'all know in an intro i'll let y'all know in an intro i'll wait for a little bit and i'll do my intro and I'll leave it on for a couple hours and see if it's still holding up. Mind you, I have combo skin. I have oily to dry skin. And it is the winter time. And I don't tend to get that oily. If anything, I have to hydrate more. But, like. It's nice. Not gonna lie. I give props for props too. She nice. With that being said, I'm not going to hold y'all up anymore. Thank y'all so much for being here. Make sure y'all leave a comment. Do not forget to check out my Jess and Jeannie. They're amazing. You will not be disappointed if you're coming from their channel. Thank you so much for being here. Love y'all much.